Welcome back from another Bartender Sessions at Brass Hall. We're going to be talking about a martini today. Um, there's three predominant types of martinis. A dry martini, which has gin and dry vermouth. A dirty martini, which has the gin, vermouth, and a splash of olive brine. And then there's the perfect martini, my personal favorite, which has the gin, of course, and dry and rosso vermouths. Now, martinis have evolved quite a bit throughout the years, and I have my own spin on this. So this is Eric's perfect martini. Love the name. Uh, martinis have been around since about the 1860s and have always been gin, vermouth, served in a chilled glass. So we're going to start there and add some water. And we'll basically let that sit. Move that aside for now. Now I'm going to be doing this perfect martini, so I'm going to start with my shaker and some ice. I'll be adding two ounces of Austin Reserve. And then my concoction, I use an orange bitters, which actually has a very sweet tone to it, and Angostura bitters, which is gonna give it that dryness. About three dashes will do there. I also add about a half ounce of water on top of that, just to kind of stress the drink. Now martinis should always be stirred, not shaken. Reason being is you want all the molecules to sensuously lay on top of each other. Although it is iconic to hear. And we simply strain gently. Now the perfect garnish for this, cherries, and an orange twist. And there you have it, Eric's perfect martini. Come have one today. <laughs>